a uh, very good morning students uh, today we will discuss about the next lesson lesson 10 the name of the lesson respiration in organism so already you know about the name of the lesson you know the respiration in organism you know so you know first you know how will the organism is made up of you know all the living organisms is made up of cell you know all the living organism is made up of cell you know you know what is the meaning of cell the cell means nothing but the cell is a structural and functional unit of organism that is called cell you know that is very important what is the meaning of cell the cell is a structural and functional unit of all the living organism you know so without cell it can't made a any living organism so all the living organism is made up of cell so the topic of the lesson the respiration in organism you know already you have you know in the earth is consist of only the two things only you know one is a living things another one is non-living things so the living things only we have do the process of respiration you know the living organisms only have do the process of respiration you know what is that meaning of respiration so the respiration means nothing but the process of release of energy in organism is called respiration you know that respiration means what the process of releasing that energy in an organism you know definitely the all the living organisms release of energy you know so come to the point that energy where will get you know one word already you heard this word energy you know so the energy where will get so energy is a natural process or a energy we will get in get from any other sources no the energy get from only in that sources of food without food we can't get energy you know without energy we can't do any work you know so the energy is a very important of all living organisms so that energy where will get the energy get from food so food is a very important for all living organisms you know so you know the resp it is very important question you know what is that meaning of respiration the respiration means nothing but the process of releasing energy in organism that is called respiration you know the where will get energy the energy get from only in food source you know the two kinds of sources there you know one is the plant source and another one is animal source the energy get from only in the food item only in the two source only one source is a plant source another one is animal source you know why do we energy is very important for all living organisms without energy we can't do any work you know we can't study we can't walk we can't play we can't run we can't sleep so without energy we can't do any work okay without energy we can't do any work so the energy is a very important the energy is a very important for all living organisms okay so then we'll run and walk and study you know so that uh, what is that very important point the energy the energy is a very important without energy we can't do any work without energy we can't do any work you know and when will run you know for if you play the playground means so during that time how do you feel you know if you play means how do you feel that time you know you are the breathing you know what you do you breathe you know breathe means what much with okay well, the breathing rate will be increased because of we will play so during that time what will utilize we will utilize in our 
energy we will utilize in our energy okay va so next one so why do we breathe you know why do we breathe already you know so that all living organism is made up of that cell you know you know what is the meaning of cell the cell is a structural and functional unit of organism that is called what cell each cell on organism perform a sudden function such as nutrient transport excretion and reproduction you know the first cell the cell to perform a specific function that is called what tissue and tissue after organ an organ after the organ system an organ system after organism okay va well, that is a five things this is very important one is cell the all living organism is made up of cell you know it is very important note it you know this is one two more question define cell that means the cell is nothing but the structural and functional unit of living organism that is called cell the each cells of organism to perform a sudden function like that excretion and reproduction and respiration and transport you know to perform this function the cell needs energy whenever we do any work you know in our it is a natural process in our body you know like the respiration and reproduction you know and excretion so that is everything is a organ okay why it is everything is a organ systems so whenever we do any system first of all the energy is very important without energy we can't study we can't play we can't run we can't sit because for example for uh, one thing the morning you didn't eat the breakfast meal the on the day how do you feel you feel very happy definitely not okay va well, definitely you feel very sad because of there is the no energy when will get energy you get energy from the food source only we will get energy only in the food source the food has stored energy so all the energy where will get we will get energy from food only okay va well. so which is released during that respiration okay va well. when will releasing during that respiration you know that is very important question what is the differentiate between that respiration and breathing so the respiration means i think but the process of release of energy in an organism that is called what respiration okay va well, that is a very 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 important one more question the respiration means the process of releasing that energy releasing that energy in an, in an organism that is called respiration and breathing means nothing but the breathing is a process of taking in air in rich in oxygen you know the breathing means we will get rich in oxygen as well as we will releasing that carbon dioxide that is called the breathing that is called that breathing the breathing means nothing but the process of breathing means the breathing means taking air you know when we are breathe that in which kind of gas we will take it we will get oxygen at the same time give out the carbon dioxide in air that is called what breathing that is called what breathing that is a it is a very important therefore all living organism respire to get energy from food okay va so that's why all depend all the living organisms respire to get energy from the food you know the living organisms only we will do that respiration process during breathing we breathe in air you know during breathing time what will happen what will do we will get air in atmosphere what kind of air we will get from atmosphere oxygen at the same time we will releasing that carbon dioxide okay va we breathe out in air which rich in carbon dioxide the air we breathe is transported to all part of the body and ultimately to each cells 
that is very important the air we breathe is in transport to all part of the body and ultimately to each cells in cells oxygen in the help oxygen in the air help in breakdown of food you know what is the main role of oxygen oxygen is the air helps into breakdown of food you know and you know one word digestion you know the large food molecules is converted into simplest food molecules you know that is one of the process that is called the digestion you know when will how will you get energy that without oxygen we can't get energy oxygen in the air help in the breakdown of food the process of breakdown of food in a cell with the release of energy is called cellular respiration underline this word the what is that meaning of the cellular respiration means the process of breakdown of food in the cell with the release of energy that is called what cellular respiration the breakdown of food so normally we will get is a complex substance of food only you know we will get all the nutrients food item like proteins carbohydrates vitamin and minerals and everything so that is a complex food substances the complex food substances is converted into simplest form that is called the digestion one word you know the process of breakdown of food in the cell with the help of release the energy is called the cellular respiration the cellular respiration take place in the cells of all organism next in the cell of food you know glucose is break down in the carbon dioxide and water using oxygen when breakdown of glucose occurred with the use of oxygen is called the aerobic respiration that is the two questions is very important that what is that meaning of aerobic and anaerobic so during the aerobic time the glucose the breakdown of glucose occur with the use of oxygen without oxygen we can't do the aerobic respiration okay keep in mind without oxygen we can occur in that an aerobic respiration aerobic respiration nadakkana appadina enna theva appadina oxygen okay the breakdown of glucose occur with the use of oxygen it is called that aerobic respiration the food can also be breakdown without using oxygen is called that anaerobic respiration oxygen illama nadakkaradhu enna adu anaerobic respiration you know a food can also be breakdown without using oxygen this is called the anaerobic respiration breakdown of food release energy okay so how will you convert you know the glucose in the presence of oxygen that is called what the aerobic respiration you know aerobic respiration nadakkana appadina oxygen kandipa theva okay va carbon dioxide plus water and energy we know some organisms such as yeast that can survive in the absence of air you know yeast you know is one kind of the microorganism so these microorganism it can survive in the atmosphere and absence of air so air illamle yeast vandu valarakudiyad yeast that can survive in the absence of air they are called the anaerobes so anaerobes na the organism it can survive in the without air that is called the anaerobes they get energy through anaerobic respiration so how will you get the respiration how will you get the energy that aerobic organism the aerobic organism get energy from the anaerobic respiration so anaerobic respiration mean so during the process the without carbon dioxide so okay, the energy they get energy through anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen glucose break down into alcohol and carbon dioxide as given below okay glucose in the absence of oxygen plus alcohol plus carbon dioxide and energy okay so that is a anaerobic process the aerobic means the presence of oxygen and anaerobic means the absence of oxygen okay so that is a anaerobic okay thank you students